All right, guys. So in today's video, I'm going to go through three of the five billboards in Cape Castile, which is the lower south area of the Need for Speed heat map. Now, the other two are pretty straightforward, but these three are placed in awkward positions and making it difficult. And I'll leave timestamps for each one of them below. So the first one I'll go through is the one in the southwest corner of the map, which is the one near the small power station. And the second one I go through is the one in the south of the map, south region. And it's near the big power station. This one's probably the hardest one in the entire game to get so far. And then the third one I go through is also in the south area, but it's slightly southeast. And this one is alongside the bridge. So those are the three reference points. And I'll put the timestamp for each one of them in the description below. The, the lower left corner, so that's the southwest corner. And it's in the small power station at the bottom. Now, the first thing that I tried was to see if I could get it just by going over the containers and using my nitrous, but it's not enough. Now, the issue with this one is that because the ramp for the billboard itself is placed at the top of some containers, as you can see here, it's also at the bottom of a road and of a dirt track. So it's hard to maintain control and speed as you're going over it. Now you'll see in the second one here that I go for a bigger run-up but the issue I have here is that as the car goes off the track onto the gravel I lose control and I can't regain control so I just fly off the side of the ramp so the, the trick here is I guess what you can do is you can spec your car out for off-road and I guess that would probably help but what I did was I took a longer run-up and then I believe I let go of the accelerator at the bottom just so that I can maintain control and then as you stay left to go off the road and towards the ramp you let go and you gotta stay hard right to get the car back onto the bottom of the ramp and I'll show you here I've, yeah I just needed to get the car required first because uh, one more crash and it would have been totaled so bigger run up here and We'll see how it goes now. So this is what I mean here. So it's hard to maintain speed if you're going off-road. So I'm staying on the track here. Then I go off. Then I let go of the accelerator. Then I go left and a hard right. And then I actually use the NOS as well to just about edge it. So the second one is in the south of the map. And it's the big power station. Now you'll see it here. But when you actually approach the billboard. You'll realise that it's got these two ramps either side of it. But there's not enough of a trajectory and a, enough of a gap between the top of the ramp and the billboard for you to go over either side of these and hit the billboard. Now I believe what I actually do is, yeah, so I check to see this building here to see if there's any way to get on top of it to get it, but there isn't. Now I did notice on the right hand side of the billboard there's an area which you can use as a ramp. So I tried it here with a short run up, but the run up wasn't long enough. Now, I did check on the other side and I realised that although there's a similar uh, design for it, there's a bit of a lip at the bottom so your car will hit it if you try to go over it. So it's not going to work on the left hand side. So on the right hand side here, I take a longer run up. And the reason why I suggest a longer run up is because it is over tarmac and uh, off track. But as you can see here, um, my angle of the vehicle is a bit off. So what happens is when I hit the ramp, the vehicle's veers to the right and I actually missed the billboard by quite a distance but I guess if the angle was perfect everything else would have been fine so I've sped the footage up here but what I do is I take a longer run up and the, start, the starting angle of my vehicle at the start of the ramp I alter it slightly because what I realised was because it's on a slope if you change direction of your vehicle you'll actually miss it but if you keep going straight, the vehicle will automatically veer to the right. And I've put it in slow motion here so you can see. And then I'll play it back again in normal motion so you can see. Now this is the location of the third billboard, which is in the southeast region of Cape Castile. Now the other issue with this one is, I'll leave timestamp for all the jumps in the description. But the, other, the issue with this one is the ramp is alongside the bridge and it's off track. So as you're approaching the ramp, you're going off track, so your vehicle's going to start losing at speed. 
Now this run here, if I had off-road tyres I may have been able to do it, but I tried it with my track tyres and again, it's just hard to get the acceleration. So what you want to do is, you want to back it up as far as you can near the circuit race, stay on the road as long as possible and only veer off when you need to and when you do veer off use your NOS and it should help. So those are the three jumps in Camp Castile which are the most difficult. If you liked the video then be sure to leave a like, be sure to share the video, subscribe for more content like this, check out my other playlists, uh, there's a lot of Neve Sweet content there and until next time, peace!